Hello and welcome to 949 Racing Super Miata. Uh, today we're going to discuss how to monitor the tread life of your Maxxis RC1 race tire. Um, some of what we're covering here will uh, translate over to other brands of race tires that use similar uh, tread wear indicators. Now you're probably familiar um, with the type of tread, tread bars that the DOT has uh, on passenger car tires. That's this little bar that runs across here. I'm going to zoom in. Well, you, can, you can see this where my finger is. So uh, the RC1 in particular is molded with 630 seconds of rubber. That's 630 seconds of an inch. Now that can be measured if I put our little tread wear indicator down here in the center of the groove, I get uh, 630 seconds. Um, so the bottom of this tread groove, that's basically the bottom of the tire. You run any lower than that, you're in the risk of running into the casing. So generally when you wear the tire out, you should just be able to see, see these bars. It's the last little bits of rubber. Now these little dots here, if you ever wondered what these are, I'm going to zoom in here, see if it'll pick them up here. You'll see this dot, and it's actually, there's a dot within a dot. You'll see a, 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 circle, a tread wear indicator there. Now that's um, 5 30 seconds of an inch down to the very bottom. And if you'll see there's this little circle in there, well there's a step in there. That first step is actually 4 30 seconds. So if I measure down there, you get 430 seconds from that step I've got 230 seconds of rubber left that I can use that bottom one is one more 30 second so that's basically five so when you see that inner dot there below that I've got 130 second and then it's and then the, and then the tire is done basically and typically on an RC1 depending on the amount of time uh, that uh, you spend per, per heat cycle and how hard you're used per heat cycle. We usually see somewhere between 12 and 20 heat cycles that pretty much coincides with the, with the tire going, uh, being worn out. So an example might be if you're using them in HPDE and you're still learning, you're not sliding the car, um, they don't get quite as much heat and they'll tolerate a greater number of heat cycles before they're worn down. Um, here in Super Miata, um, we pretty much go out and practice at race pace and then we qualify and then we race. So pretty much every time we're out there, we're sliding and you can see the rubber, how it's kind of pushed across the side here. We're sliding maximum grip angle, um, really using the tires. So every heat cycle is very, very abusive. So we're going to get fewer heat cycles out of them. So typically we get up to about 12 or so heat cycles. Um, before we're pretty much uh, worn through the rubber of the tire. Um, if we use them just for practice um, in like HPD, we can get 15 or 20 heat cycles out of them. So that's like several weekends, but typically we're getting two, uh, sometimes three weekends out of them. So what you're looking for on, on the tread wear, I'm gonna move the camera over here just a little bit. Let's see if I can pick up this other tread wear indicator. It's really hard to see here. Now this, now actually I need to zoom back out here. Let's see if I can get this to pick up here. Now what you'll notice here, this is the outside shoulder. The inside shoulder has one tread wear indicator, nothing in the center, and then there's two on the outer shoulder. It's an asymmetric tire. This outer tread block, if you call that, is a little wider. So there's two indicators. Now if you look over to this used tire, kind of looking up a little bit higher here, you'll see the DOT tread wear indicator and then the race indicator. It's this little circle here. It's kind of hard to see. I want to zoom in and see if the camera will pick that up. You can see this little indicator there. Well, it's past the step and it's into the bottom 132nd there. So this tire from the top of this down to the bottom of that tire, uh, that dot is only about 330 seconds. So we're gonna go over to the left over here and look for the other indicator like, whoops, where is it? Well, it's gone. What that means is that we've worn that bottom indicator from the bottom of there to worn out is 132nd. It's actually missing here. So we're below 132nd. What that mean here is that this shoulder is actually below 132nd. That means there's precious little rubber there to, to race on. And this one here is a little, little bit of camber wear. So you can see there's a little bit of tread wear left in the center, about two, three, 30 seconds here and less than one on the shoulder. Um, that can be adjusted by running a little bit more inflation pressure or a little bit more camber. But what you're looking for is when you have all your tread wear indicators are gone, there's no more rubber left on there. And this is going to be the case with almost any uh, production car, DOT based uh, road racing tire. You'll see these little circles. And when the circles are gone, there's no rubber. Even if it's, it's slick, um, that tire, even if there's a little bit of rubber left on there, it's usually heat cycled to pass its optimum life. In other words, it's no longer developing maximum grip. So this tire is going to be okay for practice. But because this is below 132nd, if you run a 30 minute sprint race, this is probably going to cord during the race. So you're going to be good for the first half and maybe not so good for the second half. So that's what you're looking for. So what we do in Super Miata is 
when we get this tread wear indicator, the one that's normally here, when we see it's pretty low, we pull them off of race duty and use them just for practice. Overinflate them a little bit so they'll kind of stretch the life out. And we like to have um, a little bit of that tread wear indicator on the shoulder still showing before we start a race to make sure we got enough rubber to last the race because we've run a 30 minute race and in, 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 in Super Miata there's not a lot of uh, sort of waiting for the end of the race. We pretty much run full full speed from the, from the opening lap as hard as we can run the whole length of the race. We're sliding the whole length of the race even when you're trying to save the tires. What that means is the tire sees a lot of abuse in 30 minutes. So that's a, a quick primer. Again, you want to start your race and you want to have that outer block, whether it's on the inside edge or on the outside edge, that tread wear indicator, you want to see a little bit of that tread wear indicator. I would say at least this much so you can see at least one or two thirty seconds remaining. So you want to start that race with about two thirty seconds of rubber because you'll burn through one or more during the race, particularly on an abrasive track in the summer, we can burn through as much as 230 seconds in one 30 minute sprint race. So that's what they look like. Um, hopefully that's useful to all of you out there um, monitoring the life of your race tires. Um, thanks for watching. Go to supermiata.com if you want any more uh, information about our race. Visit Maxxis Tires to learn about their passenger car tires, uh, specifically about the RC1. You'll visit maxxisrc1.com. See you at the track.